It is what it is. Let's go. No more fucking around. This title contains depictions of self deletion and things like that. Some people might find it distressing. The makers do not intend also to encourage to make light of all these things, of course. All right. Just the right, so the, the the left and right images are visible. Okay, I think we'll be safe like this now. I'm kidding. Hmm. Actually, I need to see it on the monitor. Yeah, on one monitor, it's okay. On the other one, it's not. See, for me. This would be ideal. No, it's going to be this. Sorry, I was reading it right. I was expecting it to ask me to not see one or something like that. No, I see both. Silent Hill, the short message. Controls. Put away smartphone, sure. Switch. Smartphone app, chat, okay. Move, move, camera, reconfirm and return, turn around, switch. Okay. Options. Scary moments. Where, where's the disable scary moments? Okay, everything's fine. Okay. Here we go. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. I want to be strong on my own, without a group. If there were only someone who would understand that to adult me. To adult me, that was a bit... It should have like a pause there, but whatever. So if I understand correctly, we're playing as Bia Khalifa, right? Shit. Here we go. Are you ready to shit your pants? Are you ready, Prixie? Did you just start? Just now. I randomly pulled the stream up. Well, it's your fault. You should have the stream on all the time. Like a boss. No, Mir Khalifa wakes up here and that's it. That's all we know. I think I'm going to put the chat there. So I can actually watch this, right? Does that make sense? Okay, now let's pull on projection here. Okay. Right, now I can see the chat while I'm just focusing on the scary, scary game. Obviously, I don't want spoilers for P3, but this I want to see. Wait, I thought you asked me to play P3. You wanted to see that. Oh, boo. Anyway, I want to show you something. You come to the villa. This is Maya. Okay. Oh, here. She told you to come to the villa, not to a creepy ass room, right? Well, hopefully she has infinite battery. 
Yeah, yeah we got here. Oh, okay. Emily, are you taking your med? Emily, you alright? You asleep? You still asleep? Sorry if I woke you up. I didn't see you at the job yesterday. You're still not feeling good? You're taking your meds? Oh god. Is this, is this go, go crazy? Eef, welcome to the city of not hope. You suck. Well. Damn is it this building? Good luck. You're not watching with me? I'm even joking, that really was creepy. This, examine. The plan is your hand of the moon and the stack. Okay. A plan to rebuild this place, an overview. Kettenstadt, a town with a long history as a thriving border stronghold, in recent years those in their 20s have begun living in mass, causing concern. The aim of this wide-scale project is to rebuild Kettenstadt and restore it to the former glory with the help of Chinese investment firms. The theme is revitalization. The abandoned properties developed by the Japanese corporation in 2008 have long been a problem, but by repurposing them, we can cut costs substantially and better realize our vision for a new Kettenstadt. Wow. So this place didn't always suck. Our parents dreamed of this? Ah. Salmon? More reading, yay. Plans to reveal Captain Staff have, been, have suffered yet another major setback. Oh, numbers. I saw those numbers, actually. I was thinking, oh, those numbers are going to mean something like a, the release date for Silent Hill. You know, something like that. As instability caused by the COVID-19 pandemic has reduced interest from foreign investors. We have a COVID reference on a fucking game. Bruh. Like, whoa. I'm very surprised. It's nice that they are referencing these things. But I didn't expect on a Silent Hill uh, game. I was expecting it to be like, you know... Happening on the 2000s? I guess not. Well, she has a modern phone anyway. Yeah, jumping in for a bit. You did well, Braid. Previous plans. How was Persona? It was nice. I'm very excited to play it again. Tomorrow. And then back to... Liza P. Previous plans to jump start the town failed to materialize, owing the monetary instability caused by the 2000 global financial crisis which forced the plan to evolve Japanese uh, corporations and financial institutions to be reconsidered. Yeah. Two attempts to rebuild, two failures, due to unfortunate external circumstances. Kattenstadt has uh, struggled to bounce back with increasing unemployment. The city council is considering ways to revitalize the economy by drawing skilled experts of the area, but as of yet, no effective measures have been implemented. Everyone's losing their futures. That's all the adults are. To the Just so you know, I didn't open that door. Which sounds normal because it's right there, far away. Shit. Keep out. Yeah, <laughs> I should keep out. Oh no, oh no. Oh dear, what the fuck? There's a fucking baby doll there. Where are you, Maya? Yeah, get the fuck out. You know, fuck Maya. Go fuck those windows and get out straight away. God damn it. Yeah, just leave. Fuck yeah, I will fucking leave. Would you come in here? Well, would you go to this place? Oh, great. It's locked. Oh, no fucking shit. What did you think? God damn it. Okay. Release your son. Oh, your soul. Okay. 
What about this one? See, that one, of course, is locked. What about this one? This one should be the one that you try. Exactly. That's exactly my expression, Prixie. Fucking curse this. What the hell? And it's it's turned back as well. Oh my god. No exit? Is that a fridge? Ah! Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dolls. Uh, opening this fridge scared me. Uh, what? What the fuck? There's flowers in there for some reason. No exit. Oh, it's nice that I got a subtitle for this. I'm trapped. I've always been trapped. Is it? Oh, damn it. Can I pick... There's a stick here. Well, it's not a stick, it's a lamp. Can I fucking... I use the fucking lamp and just kick everyone around me. Well, I wouldn't kick them. I would use the lamp on them, actually. Okay, more reading. First jump scare, it was the fucking fridge. <laughs> true. True. To all villa residents, we have received many inquiries about the management of this building after recent news. We will therefore like to hold a meeting to explain our policies more formally. I hope you can find the time to attend. God damn it. First person horror games. Fuck you, game. Maya? This is why playing Resident Evil is gonna be such a problem to me. I tried to play it in VR, I lasted three minutes. I said nope. I nope the fuck out of there. Will repaint it all? Okay. It's this. Okay. Whoa, sweet art, bro. Some shit to examine there, and some shit to examine here. For a graffiti artist, spray paint and a blank wall are all you need. In Canton side, the walls of a particular part of the building are the canvas for several artists, with a new piece showing up every day. Social media star CB, uh, who's this? Ke Kevin Bacon? What? Wait, Kevin is with a K. Fuck! Features her work here. Even her passion for flowers, it's only fitting her name is CB, which is short for Cherry Blossom. CB's art continues to captivate the hearts of the young, so we reach out for her common. Keeping... Fail. Yeah, the, use the, the... The emote for the fail. There's one there. Oh. <clears throat> Keeping her eyes fixed on her new piece, she had this to say. All I'm doing to sh uh, is showing that these girls feel on the inside, but can't show on the outside. If any of them connect with the girl in the art, it's probably because they experience the same thing. CB added the, that the flowers that she depicts on the young girls, she paints, bloom out the, the scars they bear, okay? The flowers represent the girls overcoming past traumas, or at least their desire to do so. Everyone can see how talented she is. Yes, it of course. Be more different. Did Maya do this? CB. Cherry Blossom. That's Maya's signature. Jeez. Okay. So Maya is CB? Amazing. This city is a blank canvas. Begging for us okay. to paint it with our hopes and dreams. I don't feel half. Show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. My god, live action, yeah. I will give her some live action, if you know what I mean. What are you hiding inside? 
Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. I noticed that the tattoo on this piece of art is different from the tattoo oh, on here. You know, on the live action, it was bigger, the tattoo. And here we have Mia Khalifa. Oh no, it's bigger now. I'm imagining things. God damn it. Where is that sound? Yeah, the lip the limp sync, uh, lip syncing was horrible. Okay. Yes. Oh god damn it. Suffocate. No. Don't do that. Where's the head? Who's there? There's nobody there. Sorry for the late reply, I fell asleep. Okay. Don't worry about it. How are you feeling? I'm okay, I can actually get, uh, kind of get some rest now. Didn't mean to scare you or anything. No, of course you didn't. Seriously, don't worry about it. All's good now. I'm still a little tired, but I'm gonna get up soon. That's a relief. So she wasn't even here. Well, I have to go, right? What was that button? Okay. There's some things there. All the way... Oh, notes? Is that it? Ah. Oh, okay. Cool. I can check everything here back. Alright. So cool. Oh, shit. I can already hear some shit. Some shenanigans going on. Insane, insane. Okay. Liar, dumb, liar, dumb creep. What's with this place? Why all the sticky notes? I'll give you something sticky, but not none of us. I keep moving the things around my bed my bed. My table, so I don't fucking hit them. She never said anything nice. Okay, I came from that one. Okay. Asshole, she's gross. Are you dumb? She's gross. Okay. Imagine one of these. In the midst of all this, is going to be the release date for Silent Hill. You will never become anything. That's sad. Okay. Child in Canada is sad. A recent statistical survey has shown the rate of child abuse in Kattenstadt uh, last year was nearly double of that the average in the other developed nations in Europe. Oh. The recent economic strife and its resulting poverty are thought to be the cause. <laughs> Me. Okay. okay. How do I run? Do I have the run button? Doesn't tell you. Of course not. Options, controls, where's the run button? Come on! Oh, R1 is turn around during escape on. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, before we go there, let's check this bed. Lovely. Nothing there. 
It's antidepressants. Is this all in your head, bitch? A lovely room. This room has nothing. Oh, thank you for opening the door for me. That was nice. There's bugs. And a toilet without water. That's worse. And a bathtub full of uh, ketchup. No, don't do it! I was trying not to even say it, Brixie. It's not nice to say things like that. I was trying not to say it. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh, shit. What about you, Anita? Anita Khalifa? What? You didn't look so hot the other day. Well, because I didn't put makeup, that's why. I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. Well, obviously I'm gonna. I'm taking my meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? That doesn't really do much, to be honest. Talking to adults doesn't help. Some of our classmates were hospitalized. You don't have to do this alone. If shit will happen. I know I'll let you know if I need anything. And those guys deserved it. Oh, shit. Did you go all Annie on them? They feel bad, you know? All of them. For the background image, one is real, the other is 3D model. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Okay, this is a different one. Ah, fuck me! Oh my god, the sound. Holy shit, run, bitch, run! Ah! Click it, bitch! Oh my god. Shall I turn back and see what she's doing? Where did it even go? What the fuck was that thing? I want to show you some, uh, You there? You here? I'm in the studio. What studio? Maya? There's a monster here. You okay? I was tempted to press the button to look back, but I didn't want to. What happens if I look back now? Okay, the door is closed for now. Okay, I cannot even click on it. Good. <laughs> Good then. How's that outside? Yeah, it looks very silent, hilly, doesn't it? Yeah, Chico. It's official. It's a place for you to go. Let's press this. Let's see this. Teenage self deletion continues at the infamous building. A rundown apartment complex in Canada has become known for its self deletions, with teenage girls jumping from its roof practically every year. Despite the repeated events, the building, abandoned ever since the development management company declared bankruptcy, remains easily accessible. The young and the unemployed are not deterred by the building's grim reputation, though with many continuing to enter it, and the young graffiti artists using it for their work. Meanwhile, local residents' security concerns continue to grow. Please, not Maya too. Oh god, what the she fuck is there? acting weird lately. Okay. Jesus. 
cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. Wow, this limb sink is uh, phenomenal. The flowers, the rot sets in. Perfect. Then they fall. That's the price of new life. Not cherry blossoms, though. Oh, that was quite good, actually. They bloom beautiful. They fall beautiful. That's how I want my life to be. Why is she not replying? Come on! I have to find her. Inside the fog of social media, solitude and anxiety in teenagers. All of the teenagers interviewed said they were ashamed of the risky selfies they posted online. They also came, they, uh, they experienced anxiety over not getting any likes on such photos. Cringe. But all of the kids had in common was extremely low self esteem. The greater the anxiety and lower their confidence, the more pronounced their reactions were to positive attention. The sense of fulfillment they experience after getting a like online is difficult for adults to comprehend. Furthermore, even when acknowledged, the teenagers still could not view their actions positively, and quickly reverted to despair, seeking more attention to fill the void. Teenagers who are not yet psychologically mature run the risk of experiencing this toxic quest for validation. Yes. Before we go there, let's check this out. Trash room. Oh, there's actually a lot here. Well, let's check that thing there. I was I was sure that would be the way to go, but apparently this might be a longer way, I guess. Jesus, my cat scared me. He just jumped to the table. Scary, yeah. Oh, damn it. Why am I playing this? Why do I do this? That door open? It would be a great jump scare if they put, they put it there. That when you're looking like this, something will come out. Okay, relax, Flutter. This is just a game. Just a game. This is gonna be easy. This is not scary at all. Creepy. It's not creepy. Open this. No. Oh, 
God damn it. By the way, thought you any more about college? I can't do it. You don't have to decide right away. So, once you're at college, are you not coming back here? No way, I'll come back occasionally. My parents will give me the shit if they didn't come for, uh, if I didn't come home for breaks. But yeah, just give college some th more thought, okay? I told you I can't go. It's not for me. Studying isn't my thing. Of course, she's like Mia Khalifa. Her thing is only fat. I told you I would help you. It's fine. I can do anything. Don't know what I do if I go in. That's not true. You're way too hard on yourself. Be proud of who you are. Wait. What about those drawings you showed me? You could audit an art class. It could lead to a job. I'm not Maya, okay? Okay. Emily doesn't get it. Gotcha. So he don't really like this place. No, I don't. Scary. Well, I get it. People in this town. See graffiti as nothing but trashy doodles. And my classmates talk about me. Might not be a bad idea to leave town, actually. The great thing about graffiti is the world's your canvas. And as long as I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. There's no way out. Oh, it appears to be like that. Just a second. Oh. Game just saved. Not very nice. Are these Maya sketches? These aren't even finished, and they look this good. They seem happy. Here, are you? This place is dangerous. We need to go. Maya, respond, please. Why won't she reply? Because she's the monster, or she's in your head, or some shit like that. To write, I have to watch it. Fuck, okay. It's beautiful. Who did Maya have in mind? Did you post this too? That is <laughs> even more followers. You should enjoy life instead of worrying about social media.
Feet pigs. jump from the villa why did she have to die Maya's... are you talking to yourself from the future or some shit wait Maya's really dead uh, how how could i forget that are you all right anita hello hello this? Wait a minute, I need to take a selfie. Find it. Ooh. Find what? Okay. Okay, no more fear. No more fear. No more fear. No stress. Whatever that it was, I'm out. Uh, whatever that is, I'm not looking. Puta. I'm out! Ah, caralho, filha da puta, again! Nah! Ah, get out! Puta que te pariu! Oh, Jesus Christ! Such a fine piece of ass. Why will you do this? 
Because of fucking followers? You respawn? But why didn't I die? Well, it's easy. Next time, let you let the monster kill you. Then. Find it. Find what? You can't leave it till you find it. Is this really, is this really you, Maya? Can't leave it till you find it. Maya's dead. You're not her. And leave till you find it. Who the fuck is this? You can't leave till you find it. Tell me. This. What the fuck? If she finds what? Oh no, my battery. There goes the battery. Fuck. Where the batteries like outlast? Bad girl gets an empty plate. Bad girl gets an empty plate. I sound like the old woman from Resident Evil 7. It's all your fault. Okay, a little, a little bit too on the nose. Hey. Go find it, whatever it is. It's all your fault. Wait, am I Maya? That would be a cool twist. Me being Maya, and I'm just reliving what I did to another girl because of my follower count. That could be a cool twist. the crouch button someone crying there oh fuck me that's some creepy shit look children who turn trauma into tales Solitary and anxiety in teenagers, part two. All of the teenagers surveyed suffer from deep psychological issues caused by past experiences, and interestingly, all of them conceptualize those issues as grandiose stories of sorts. 
One girl placed herself in the role of a tragic hero, convincing herself she was at the mercy of an abusive stepmother and that her re loving real mother existed somewhere uh, elsewhere. Another girl revealed her childhood scars as stigmata, believing those scars would bloom into beautiful cherry blossoms. These convenient tales, in the face of extreme diversity, are born out of the deep desire to escape unbearable pain and self-hatred. The greater the trauma, the more grandiose the story surrounding it. Wait, it's back on? Yeah, yeah battery now again, okay. Check this bathroom, of course. Ketchup and babies. This is like what are conversations like a bad conversation with like lefty? What are like radical lefties? Brother, why are you here? Why are you here? How could somebody do this? <sighs> Some people really have nothing better to do. Wait. I bet it was these guys. Caralho, filha da puta, meu. Puta que pariu. Jesus fucking Christ. Hola. Hello. That was a very good scare. School bullies, yeah, with full of uh, dogs on them. That. A hole or a lack of floor. Jesus Christ. Inside the fog of social media, all the is that the same one? Ah, it's exactly the same one then. I would expect it to change it, actually. Sorry for the little reply, I fell asleep. Feeling okay? Good enough to get out of bed. Sorry for being a bad friend. So is Maya really that? Why are you asking that? Please tell me. I still can't believe she is gone either, which it was a lie. She seemed perfectly fine before it happened. So Maya really is dead then, yeah? Anita, are you okay? Are you getting enough sleep? I know, I'm taking some really good meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? That doesn't help really too you're much, so to be honest. To me, but you're leaving me behind. I really didn't tell you about uh, anything. No, all she talked about was a book she re read recently. Still, I feel guilty for what happened. Even if she didn't tell me anything, you should have known something was up. Did Maya really not say anything? Like. At all. So, what'd you think of the book? The author killed themselves when they were young. Something beautiful from something tragic. It's kind of enchanting, isn't it? I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Anyway, I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter. You 
really are shy, aren't you? Essentially being my Actually, I kind of like that, though. You write in a really flowery and passionate way. I can't wait to read more. Huh. Javanese culture, there has been a long sense of beauty in sacrifice with Harakiri. Deleting oneself by slicing one's stomach, like the prime example. The idea was that by taking you your own thing, I'm trying to say this in a way that YouTube wouldn't demonetize it, you know? And symbolically purge the world of your transgressions and purify yourself. This concept can be confusing to many Westerners, with young people incorrectly assuming that Japanese yearn for a beautiful way to die. Modern Japanese people, however, do not view that thing in such a positive light anymore, and the life they value is not the biological variety, but rather a social one, where that thing is needed to protect that life. Same one. Well, this is new. Belief in the Witch of Kettenstadt. Those who believe in the Witch of Kettenstad share many practices with modern Wiccans, such as praying for a bountiful harvest and goddess, uh, and goddess worship. What sets the practice apart is a slight blend of both Western and Eastern customs. As for what led to the mixing of customs, there is one rather creative theory. During the joint efforts of Japanese and German entrepreneurs and liberals of the 30s to foster economic growth and prosperity, there was an exchange in cultural beliefs, giving rise to the belief in witches. Okay. Wonder what those guys are talking about. Fortune telling? A lot of people are getting into that. Huh. You don't believe in that stuff? Well, I think there's something real about it. My great grandmother was a fortune teller. I hear people here used to treat her like some sort of prophet. But they all eventually turned on my great grandmother. Guess you can predict other people's futures, but not your own. It's already got me. Okay. So what's happening as soon as I leave? Oh. Future. 
few things along here. Invoke, yeah. And again, just save, of course. This hasn't opened before. This is all your fault, everything. You're a heartless bitch. You stole my only friend, my place in this world. All of it. And I don't even care. I'm invisible to you. I fucking hate you. You're not talented. You're not special. You call those shit stains art? You came out of nowhere and ruined everything. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Get the fuck out of my life, you piece of shit freak. Of course. We'll go there. Let's just sec check here. Did we come through here before? Okay. Last time I don't know if we went through here. Not sure. Let's find out. Garbage here. Deutschland Medical University School of Medicine orientation. Dear incoming freshman, welcome to Deutschland Medical University. Finally, the oldest and more revered institutions, the state of the art research facilities eagerly await your arrival. Orientation details. When? This time. 2021. Okay. School of Medicine, sir. Okay. Please wear a mask on attending. This is for the college Amelie wants to go to. Anita, you got a minute to talk? Cool, oh, what's up? You seem kind of out of it before. Is something bothering you? Can let me know. Thanks, but I'm fine. No, you're not. First, bring it up. Don't want to cry. Nah, it's okay. I don't mind. Hey, we should go shopping together sometime. I haven't left my house in what? It feels like forever. Plus, my brother's coming here. All right, you okay? Yeah, just gonna try to avoid him as much as possible. Or shopping, yeah? We can find you something cute. No, I'm good. I'm not a fan of crowds. And nothing looks cute on me anyway. Stop talking uh, like that. You're way too hard on yourself. You got the looks, you just need to find the right outfit. Too hard on myself, huh? Amelie's the only one who thinks that. Why would you do that, game? Why would you let me just go like this and see this? North River. That is, if you guys don't know, a scary face on the internet, which is became a meme, and that really freaks people out. Myself included. September 23, 2020. I haven't been able to study since my brother came back from uh, for Christmas break. He's nice and doesn't interrupt my studies or anything, but I can't stand him staring at me. Well, are you hot? Because that would explain it. And if you live in Alabama, that would make a lot of sense. I know he was probably just messing with me back then, but I've been scared of him ever since. It's, been made, it's made me hate any guy looking at me. I can't believe other girls walk around school and town showing so much skin. I think I'm finally finding my study growth, or groove. My test scores are really good. I'm worried about how much my parents are fighting recently, though. They were yelling at each other again today. I asked mom why, but she wouldn't say. This is it. Test day tomorrow. Mom told me I should be proud of myself since I worked so hard, so I'm feeling great. She's not my real mom, but I know she loves me, and I love her. Mom, I'm going to waste this test tomorrow for you, uh, for both you and Dad. Okay. 
perspectives from perspectives from every angle to see how people are. Now, in terms of religion, we keep the flame so uh, much to go on there, and they don't often. Shady laptop. Very shady one. Probably doesn't even run solitaire. Okay. October 17, 2020. I'm finally focused on my studies, so I think I might pull an all nighter. It won't be good for my skin. I just can I can just hear people calling me troller and nerd, but I don't care. I have to make it to college in the city. Mom and dad are counting on me to do well. I'll make them proud by getting into my first choice. All right, time to hit the books till morning. November 9th. Dad was talking today about how there was a plan to rebuild the town. They were going to use a bunch of funding from China to turn the town into something better. But everything got cancelled due to COVID. Do, uh, sure, it would, be, it would have been nice if it had gone through, but I just couldn't see it happen. Even if things had worked out. Not in this place. It hasn't been special since I was little. There's nothing to do, the buildings are ancient, it's a dump. My future isn't here, it's in the city, where college life is waiting for me. Everything is riding on my entrance exam next year. I have to clear out before my brother comes back. Okay. Okay. My god, so much reading. August 24. I got some materials from my first choice in the mail today. I'm going to college freshman. We are college freshman. I'm so, so happy. I still can't believe it. Mom, Dad, I'm going to study my ass off and be the best daughter ever. Thank you so much for everything. September the 22nd. Mom and Dad are yelling at each other. They're talking about bankruptcy. Wasn't everything supposed to work out even without that rebuilding plan? So this means they're out of money, right? Does this mean I can't go to college? All that hard work was for nothing? No way. Don't leave me, Mom. I can't stay here. I can't be stuck here with my brother. Mom just left. Oh, this is next day. She told me to get out of the way. I have to get out of here. I want to disappear. But where will I go? This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. Only hated the way her brother looked at her. I bet she wants to leave to get away from all that. Okay. Okay. Young student found that possible suicide. September 25th. Oh shit. This her? At around 10 a.m. on the 24th, the local resident reported seeing an 18 year old female high school student fall from the roof of the Captain's apartment building. The girl was rushed to the hospital, but it was pronounced dead two hours later. According to the school staff, the girl was distraught over not being able to attend college due to some troubles at home. No note or diary was found. The police still believe her death might be a self deletion. Emily's not like this, though. Right? I hear humming.
Really? I don't have an option. Fuck me, Jesus Christ! I was pressing X even though we didn't have a prompt. Well, I guess I'll run to here if we find something. Whatever that place we opened up. Big. Nice. Sis, we live in the present and we only live in the moment that we live in now. Nine to Drogen. Stay away from drugs, kids. And everyone else. Damn! Hey. Why did you throw a shoe? Are you fucking... I was about to say a very bad word. Away. This is where you study? In the witch seat? It's because of your mom? Freak, no wonder nobody likes you at school. Okay. Okay. Witch's locker, okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to run. Do I have to run? Oh, that's a cool effect. That is a cool effect. But I, we get the mu we get the message. Okay, it just. He's too on the nose at this point. Well. Yes, I know. We can definitely feel that Kojim is not involved in this. He's trying too hard. And we need to be, be a, a bit more subtle. Okay, so we have the fucking scary thing here. I don't want to get this I saw it. Get this the fucking lavender. Ah! No! Ah! Shit! Run, bitch! God damn it! Oh fucking! Ah, bitch! Nah! Nah! Fuck that shit! Fuck that shit!
Oh. Are you right behind me, bitch? I'm going around in circles. I'm fucking running! That's not how it works, Carl. Find it. Find what? Find it. Okay. Just tell him what I'm looking for. Find it. Poor girl, lol. Yes, exactly. Poor girl, lol. Those two together. My, what the fuck? I cannot examine this one? Ah. We done? Oh, we haven't done this one. <laughs> uh, oh, I, th I guess the thing shows up there if I haven't uh, seen it before, right? I haven't really been in a good mood since this morning. I tried to lose myself in my graffiti, but I wasn't feeling it. Maybe it's because mom and I argued this morning? Probably not. We've clashed before, but I know for a long time we've had different things. Is it because my classmates teased me? I doubt it. They don't know me. They're just taking their issues out on someone. It's got to be because I lost that special person. And the hope he gave me, right? Why do I feel like this? I'll never feel like this. With, uh, I've never felt like this before. So one thing that she did say. Just now. She did mention. Uh, why is this happening to me? Uh, you have to understand. That there is nothing. That is programmed. To be happening to you because you did something. Okay. If you're struggling with mental health, if you're struggling with some issues uh, that you think, why is the world against me? Why is the universe against me? Let me let me tell you, okay? Look right in the eyes. Let me tell you, it's not the universe trying to get back to you. It's because of the possibility of people having self uh, uh, freedom. You know. Recently, something happened to a person I know. And they were asking all the time, why this happened to me? Why, wh what did I do to deserve this? And because they were blaming the world, they were blaming themselves actually, to say, why, why, why did, what did I do to deserve this? Which is probably what this girl is coming through right now. She's thinking that in several points. I can tell you right now, it's because you have the self freedom, it's because you have free will. That's the word I was trying to look for. Free will. God, I'm shiny as fuck here. I don't know why. Because you have, there is free will in the world, you cannot blame the world for things that happen to you. You can blame the person that does something wrong to you. So, do not blame yourself. Or blame the universe. Or your Celtic gods or whatever. Or something bad that is that bad is happening. Don't say, oh, why did God do this to me? No, God didn't do anything to you. There is free will among you know humanity so just so you know it's not your fault okay right let's go look again this guy looks familiar hmm. they're hard where are you going uh, yeah, that's right. Only. Hmm? What's that? Oh, you like what you see? Come closer then. Wait a sec. Those glasses look good on you. Uh, sorry, she's so cute. I couldn't help myself. Feel free to 
stop by any time. You're always welcome. <laughs> I only ever cared about Amelie. She didn't see me. I was invisible to her. Pregnancy test positive. Oh shit. Sadako, hello. The fuck? There's no beauty in any of this. Oh, oh, sorry. I was just thinking about something. I think you want me to find the book? Find the letter. Read it when you get home, okay? Where was it? Find that book then. Not this one. The town cursed by a witch. Malicious magic to blame for a city slum. In town, you can see a rapid decline in its population. The birth rate is a mere 0 0.7. Wow. Less than half of the German av uh, nation average, 1.6. Miscarriages are also 31%, more than double the average, 50%. The economy is in shambles, and the once booming industrial city has failed to realize itself twice. A number of researchers studying the occult point for a witch as the cause of the economic downturn, downturn in Pakistan. The witch was a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance to influence the economic development of the town in the 30s. Researchers believe she was hunted down and killed. Before her death, she is believed to have placed a curse on the town, stymieing its growth. So, it is a curse. Okay. But why me? Why do I have to be cursed like this? Okay. Tell me, is this your curse? Find it, find it. Okay. Find what in a place like this? Oh, they have two copies of the Sapiens one. Nice. Oh, three copies. Look at that. Wow. The Witch Hunt of Kettenstadt. In the 30s Germany, the town of Kettenstadt attracted wealthy entrepreneurs and enjoyed a period of economic prosperity. Behind that success, though, was supposedly a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance and mystical powers to guide the entrepreneurs. She would come to be known as the Witch of the Far East, and would be greatly respected by the German people. However, in 47, the entrepreneurs suffered great losses. A large fire spread throughout their industrial parks, losing them the majority of their factories. The witch of the Far East, who was hospitalized, jumped off the roof of the hospital and killed herself. Oh. 
Could that be this be why the the reason why people try to suicide jumping out, out of there? The witch has been diagnosed with an unknown illness, and many believe the fires pushed her over the edge. Some citizens, however, claim that a witch hunt was to blame. They argue the witch's rises to the prominence angered the mayor's party, who used the chaos from the fires as a cover for murder. There is no evidence to support this claim, and many now view it as a mere conspiracy theory. But the mayor's party did manage to regain influence in the town after the witch's death. Since then, citizens have started to believe any stroke of bad luck is a result of the witch's curse. The witch's curse? Is that why I saw what I did before? Some shiny books. I still wait for you. Maybe that's it. Looks like there's space for a book here. Wait, I think I know these. I have to go collect second and second. So do I have to go collect those that because these books I've been reading them on the way here, right? I think I've seen two of them actually. You alright, Anita? No. You left me on read, so I was worried. Sorry, I was just thinking about Maya. Not sure if you know this, but Maya was bullied at school. I know. But she said she was okay. No. I figured it shouldn't push that issue, and it was too late. Why didn't she say anything before she died? I wish she had talked to me. Maybe she didn't see me as a friend. <clears throat> That's not true. Uh, you're gonna leave her on read again? Bolster. It seems My like slacker. it. No, it's not here. It wasn't here before either. Where could it be then? There's a noise over there. Well, I guess I have to go back. Here. Uh, what? Liar. Oh. Okay. It's actually around here somewhere, okay. 
Did I check this door? I don't think I did. Wow. Well, well, well. Oh. Amelie's locker. Yes. It's just a novel. Wait a sec. Ah. Wait. Wait what? No. There's another one here, okay. My locker. Why is it locked? Is there something I don't want to see? Oh shit. Do I have something on my notes? Must be. Oh, here. Two here. I saw one there. One, two. Yeah, do you see the one? One, two, three. See a three here. And a zero. Right? Zero, three. One, two. Zero, three, one, two. Shall we try that? Zero, three, three. I know what's inside. Holy shit, I'm a bastard. I'm a boss. Here it is. What's this letter? Was it inside the book? It's probably the, the letter that she wrote Remember for you. When I said I wanted to live like a cherry blossom, to be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment. Simply by letting go of life. Daring to bloom, knowing it won't last. And so falling in vivid color. I wish I could live like that. I want to experience true beauty. If only for a moment. I met someone who made me feel different. He showed me a whole new world. Whole new world. I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. I felt it with all my heart. But people didn't understand us. Didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. People... People who can't achieve beauty seek comfort 
in others. They fear anyone different. Hate them. Try to tear them down. I can't take much more of this. I wish you and I had... I wish you and I could run away together. Mama me. Just... Me and you. I mean? Maya. She was asking only for help. But... I just... to me. How was I supposed to know she'd actually kill herself? All your fault. She already tried to self-delete herself, so might as well just let her do it. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Fucking cursed. Okay, let's go through the same place. See if it changes. Oh, it, it, it's the same place. Okay. Okay, just not go there. All right. Here again, like in PT. Oh, go here. I'm gonna be here forever. I'm gonna be here forever or something.
Okay. Well, I know I cannot go to that door, but I was thinking maybe if I do like 20 laps, I can actually go through that door. Because I don't see any other way to... anywhere to go. Forgive me, Maya. Or maybe I have to die a bunch of times. If I turn back, yeah, after this section, I'm gonna turn back there. In here, can I turn back here? I tried something different. Let's see if it changes. No, it doesn't. Ah! Ah! This is saving, so it's like it's counting or something. That's trying something different. I think I know what I have to do. I think I have to attract her for her to come out. And when she's out, I go around and go through the door. So I'm guessing I have to reach the door or make her come. Exactly. All right, bitch.
That was really annoying. I'll try it one more time. Because I'm not gonna spend my whole afternoon bringing this shit. close was it close was it really I'll give it one last try because I need to eat something it's my end almost ending of, uh, of my stream okay she's coming Run, bitch. I think you need to go around that last square. Let's go. Oh, God. Shit, this. This is so sad. What are you talking about? You and Maya wrote letters to each other, right? Yeah, but then Maya jumped off the villa roof. Well, there was supposed to be one in the last book you had, too. What? That letter. That letter was a message for you. But why are you telling me this, Anita? I was jealous of Maya. I was afraid she'd take you Don't away. You look like Mia Khalifa. My mom was right. I should never. Huh? Who's Mia Khalifa? Oh, you don't know. Oh, you you don't lose anything. Don't worry.
little more? I jumped off the building. Yeah, like the witch, kinda. You the witch. Hello? Huh? Oh shit, that's me? Even if I die, this doesn't end. It's like returnal? How many times do I have to go through this? Oh hell no! And how can I get you to forgive me? Please, Maya, tell me. Why would you say anything? Why are you running? Why are you running? Elevator, what the fuck? Okay. Official, I'm a vampire. I don't have a reflection. December 29, 2011. I finally lost touch with him. I'll never see him again. I thought I found my happily ever after, but it was all a dream. However, I haven't lost everything. I still have my children, my cute little angels who light up my life. My mom the witch or something? What the fuck were you cooking, bitch? Because you shout everything. What is she cooking? I don't know what she's cooking. Pizza? Oh, look, looks like Asmon Gold's couch or, or table actually. One year later, February 10th, my new man showed up to my place today with pizza. 
Children definitely need a father, but they still won't like to take to him. He looked annoyed when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. February 22nd, my daughter drew a picture of our family. We we're smiling and holding hands. I wish she would draw him as well. Maybe she doesn't realize he might join our family. She is slower than other kids her age. I'm sure she'll catch up and pass them soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. I'm nothing like that heartless bitch who raised me. I won't fill my children with hate and fear. Yet now she's cooking a bottle or a mug. Fucking sardines. Check this. I'm giving up my life for you. I'm small now. I was noticing that I was like crouched. Yeah, I'm a little girl now, I guess. March 7, 2012. He showed up again with a smile on his face and a pizza in his hands for the new place he was raving about. My daughter hated the pizza though. Shit. She's extremely picky. I should probably teach her her to eat things she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things I hated when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. And the kids finally blew up in front of him today. Whoa! Did they fucking explode some shit? He was exhausted from work and he said he just wanted to relax. It makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with them. We need him for a happy life and we need them to realize that. I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they'll finally see the light in him. April 12th. He told me the banging on the closet door was making it hard for him to unwind. If they would just be quiet for a little bit, everything would be fine. What's wrong with them? What, are they like... Is she closing them on the fucking closet? Hey Nas, I love you! He doesn't visit as much as he used to. I don't figure something... If I don't figure something out, I'm gonna never see him again. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't look good. Wow. Hey, Mar May 9th. Everything seems to be going well now that we've been going out on dates. He was worried about my kids, so he bought them a bunch of books and toys. That should be enough to keep them occupied, right? I've been going out so much lately that I left the place in a bit of a mess. Really? Ah! I should clean it, but by the time I get back, I have no energy. I got contacted by the Child Welfare Center. I guess some nosy bitch or asshole in my building reported hearing a child crying at night in my place. The fuck do they know? He wasn't called me much lately. Am I destined to be alone? Every everyone else is in out enjoying life. But I'm working my ass off raising kids. I am the fucking bad guy. Are you a fucking bad guy? I thought you were. I thought this was a woman writing. If I hadn't had children, maybe I'd be planning my summer vacation with my friends now. Nothing matters anymore. I'm just calling through life. I know what's going on in the closet, but I can't look. Oh shit! I just want to be happy. What's wrong with that? I'm done. Don't you fucking bring babies over here, babe. Ah, uh, no. What are you cooking this time? Stop. Don't tell me this is like the baby from Resident Evil 8. Because I won't do it. I will not do it. Mrs. Krista Planert, we have reached out to you repeatedly but have yet to receive a response. We take this to mean that you have no intention of remembering this issue. You are in violation of German Civil Code, according to the Federal Court has instructed to take your children. 
Should you have any objections to this, please contact us as soon as possible. This place where she kept her children. No, I'm guessing. Could it be? Boy found dead in a refrigerator. Mother arrested, August 4th, 2012. A boy was found dead today in a refrigerator in the home of this 41 year old mother, person A, who was arrested by local authorities for hiding the body. Person A claims to have locked her son in the closet for more than a day to punish him. Wow, that's nice. And when she noticed he wasn't moving the next morning, she hid his lifeless body in the refrigerator. Investigators are conducting an autopsy to determine the cause of death. According to the investigation, person A's daughter ran to a neighbor's house to call the police and reported her mother for neglect. When detectives arrived at the house, they discovered her brother's body in the refrigerator and arrested the mother after she confessed to the crime. Cool imagery there. This room here in the villa. I tried so hard to forget this place. Hmm. Yeah, I just stared at this point. I'm sorry, Mom. Alright, where can I go after she shows up? Because I really want to finish the game, but it's, a, it's after my cutout moment. Can I go through a hole here? I'm really tired. The game is overstaying its welcome. I'm really hungry. Why do we have more of this? Oh, hello.
put the safe there, what? Fucking glitches. For oh, fuck's sake, come on. Run, bitch, run. Okay, read. Okay, move. Oh my fucking god. Move. Oh my god, I lost myself. Oh, I'm, I'm so fucking dead. Okay, Sega. Next, let's go. <laughs> Fucking door. Like the whole shit is blade. What's that? Move. Fuck it. Oh. Keep going, what bitch. Fucking god. Ah! Ah, door, go! Uh, oh my fucking god. 209 again. Oh my god, I remember. Oh, I've been here before. Bitch is around here. Oh. What are you hiding inside? I don't know. Oh my god, it's right here. It's. <laughs> Filha da puta! Oh god! Oh! Nah! Go through here! Death pit of hell or some shit! Oh, these fucking boys are here! The fucking bullies! Uh. I'm not even gonna look back! Fucking... Uh. Look at this! It looks like I'm on a blacksmith's lair or some shit! Fill it up! Fucking... Hmm. Ah, ah, ah. I can hear she's right behind me, holy shit! No! Ah! Ah, bitch! Oh my god, we're here again. Oh shit. Uh, uh... Piece of shit, wrong way. Where am I supposed to go? I came here last time. Those fucking boys again. Oh my. Please. Ha! <laughs> puta! <laughs> no, please. Okay, go, go, go. Keep fucking running, oh my god. Uh, lift! The lift is broken, fuck the lift. 212, oh, 11, fuck! Have I been here? I'm not sure. Oh, fuck. What the fuck is that? Oh god, my god, she's right behind me. Okay, maybe not behind me. She was to my left. Look at that floor. That look, the floor looks cool. Oh my fucking god, I'm in a fucking maze. I'm gonna stay here all fucking night. Oh, come on. Just for a fucking end. Ah, uh, door? Uh, no, don't care. 
Ah! 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 No! Oh, fuck you! She's right there. Go, go. Oh my god, she, she's left behind. Okay, cool. Bye, bitch. Oh. Oh, I read that before. You're Didn't I? Didn't I? I don't know. I'm way too hard on myself, sure. Do I need to read all of them? Oh. This is still closed. Can I... Do I need to open everything or find everything to open that door or some shit? Oh, fucking this again. Oh. Where am I going? There's a... There's, there's a thing there. Oh, fuck. Can I go there? Go left. No. Yeah, there's a door here. Finally. Shit, it's fucking closed. Oh, come on. Oh. Bro. If I lose now, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. Oh my god, something different. Holy shit. Am I gonna be alone forever? Fuck if I know. Am I still in the glitchy world? CV, yeah. Okay, can I go here? Nothing to select there. Our journal here. Okay. I've been really absorbed into my work lately. I decided to paint the girls who jumped off the villa roof. I'd like to think they left this place for something better. I think I might finally be free of my despair because I've never felt this inspired. I'm going to put every last bit of myself into this piece. Well, okay then. My roof piece is almost done. I might actually be crown my, my crowning achievement, but once this is done, then what? Do I have to need to come up with something even better? How much longer can I enjoy the fame and praise I get now? Is there despair and disappointment waiting for me right around the corner? Yeah. The sun that has gripped me before has clawed its way back into my mind. I guess it was always there. Who knows how often it will show up. The thought makes my skin crawl. Maybe I should just end things while I'm still happy. Go out on a good note. I wish I could talk to someone about this. Oh, bitch. I don't know if you're gonna survive this. Doesn't look like it. Okay, what about the book? Not the book, the thing, uh, there's no, it's not selectable. Oh yeah, newspaper. Okay, all right. At approximately 1 p.m. on the 12th, public graffiti artist of CB, Maya Ako Hindenburg, was found collapsed on the grounds of the apartment building in Kattenstadt. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. Oh, okay, fair enough. The death of the 18-year-old girl comes as a shock not only to local community members, but also to all those that were familiar with her work. Authorities believe the cause of death may be suicide, no shit, but given her popularity and lack of warning signs of her peers, they have not ruled out foul play and are proceeding with a full-scale investigation. All right then. Well, Wait. she killed herself half a year ago. Then that means I've been here this whole time. Okay. What will it take for you to forgive me? Please, end this. Just let me die. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we've seen this. Is this me? When did she draw this? I want to show the hidden side of girls, their impulses, their urges. What are you hiding inside? Not a closet, for sure. Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. So, she did notice me. 
You notice me, senpai. What now? What now? Did I go back? Probably. Here? No. Okay. Sure. I was so happy when my mom liked the first picture I drew. She was just being a nice bitch. You do like shit. You think that stick figure was awesome? A different life too. I guess someone finally did love me. Aya, yeah. You actually noticed me. Then bye. I never thought you would. Only. What should I do? I mean, you're fucked either way. Oh, shit. Oh, there you go. Just have to make sure. And imagine if I turned around and someone was actually there. I was like... Ugh. Uh, the sky, the ceiling, whatever. I'm such a piece of shit. I had no idea she'd do that. What are you talking about? Did something happen? I thought I was invisible. That I didn't matter. No matter what anyone said, I didn't listen. Anita? But you and Maya... Both of you did see me. I should have figured that out sooner. Anita, wait. Where are you right now? Fuck okay, if I know. Amelie, you were always there for me. I'm. I'm going to go apologize to Maya now. Wait, Anita. Let's go shopping tomorrow. We can talk just the two of us. Just the two of us. Tell each other everything that's in on our minds. Don't go, Anita. Please don't leave me. Okay. Sure. No. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, she's back in the real world now. Oh shit. Did she pee herself? I mean, I would. I shat myself three times already. The smell is unbearable, but I'm still here. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to clean this to this chair. Actually, a pain in my back, probably not the in the ass. I am here for you. The pain in the ass was when I shat. It was like a rocket. So many suicides in this building. How they? How come they never bulldozed Seeking it? Connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone, and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. But. I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For those I love, and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward and never look back to 18-year-old me.
Okay. Then, sure. Well, here you go, guys. That was the uh, Silent Hill, the short message. It was a, it's a free game, uh, like we saw, two and a half hours long. And uh, you can download it on PlayStation 5, no problem. And it's basically a promotion to the next Silent Hill game that's going to come up. Shit, he only has five likes. She's gonna self-delete soon. She needs more likes on that. Come on, come on, guys. So, what did I think? Uh, some parts were too much. As in, when I say too much, it's like it's not too much scary. I've been scared before. Uh, as, as in, scared her before. I don't know how to say this. But I, I've been in bigger scares before. There were some cool jump scares there. And you need to understand, the best way to do a jump scare is not to overuse it. And this game did not overuse them, which that's good. Um, the chase scenes, too much, I think. Uh, because, oh, just fucking labyrinths are just a pain in the fucking ass. And it's like kind of like PT, but not. As in, you have a labyrinth that you have to go around, you don't know what you have to do, so you just stuck there. You just stuck there until something triggers the possibility for me to advance to the ending. And I really don't like those. Because I people might be stuck there for a while until they find, oh, I have to do this. But I'm pretty sure I had to read all the things on that last run. And the fir my first try, I didn't read shit. I was like, no, fucking go! But no, we have to stop to read, or at least click on the button, and then just move on. At least that. Because if we don't do that, we're not gonna go far. <sighs> I don't like that, that type of game. But it is what it is. To be fair, I it, it was enjoyable. I can say that. I did enjoy the game. Especially because I, there, I didn't pay for it. There was no price attached and it was not too long although it was still a bit longer than I expected I thought ah, I can finish this in two hours because people saying oh two hours an hour and a half oh, oh, okay but then again I was reading everything so yeah I thought right at the end I think oh another chase scene but even even before that I was thinking oh it's the game is overstaying its welcome for a bit Right, so, now, regarding the story, oh, the graphics, the graphics were okay. Yeah, they were, they were, funnily enough, I still think PT was, had way better graphics than this. I should not compare it to PT, but fuck it, we're gonna compare it to PT. And regarding the sound design, the sound design was awesome. It was. The music, not so much, the music is generic. Matter, you, you can probably AI the music on this game. I'm sorry. And even the story, my god, the story was so bland. Yeah, okay, we got the message about bullying, we got the message about how social media is influencing us so much more than it should. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. They weren't subtle, you know? There's something about telling a story, especially a horror story, where subtlety is the way to go. You know, you cannot be too on the nose. I remember watching Hereditary and I thought, huh, this was interesting. But after real uh, analyzing it, I was like, oh my god, this, this is a fucking masterpiece. Hereditary is a masterpiece because it was subtle. And there's a lot of things there that we don't see. It's not bang in front of you. You have to anal analyze and think about it. Kind of like the, the other movie, a uh, horror movie, that people, mo mo many people don't like, which is Midsummer. Midsommar, which it's the first horror movie that I've seen that is bright and the brighter it is the more scary it can be it's weird it's one of those one of those you know but for that movie to be good you have to 
revisit or analyze a little bit. There's a lot of things that they're like, oh, oh, kind of like hereditary, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that it? There's more? No way. Oh, okay. All right. That's it. Great news, guys. Lovely.